So friends, I know all of y'all are very, very familiar with this iconic picture. This is Elvis. This is the day show in Tupelo. He's wearing blue crushed velvet right there. And I want you to look right there at that young lady. And she is holding her hand up, keep sun out of her eyes so she can see Elvis. And that young lady, her name was Betty Parker. And Betty got married, and her last name is Gustafson now. I'm probably not saying that right. Gustafson. Gustafson. But this is Betty, y'all. <laughs> she was right there at that concert. Hallelujah. So, tell us what happened, Betty. Okay. Uh, uh, we had been to, uh, well, I lived 30 miles from Tupelo. And uh, we had, my dad he was an agriculture teacher, and he took his boys to the uh, fair, Tupelo Fair, to show their uh, caves and that sort of thing. And uh, then we, we went back to Boonville. And when, after we got back to Boonville, they, my parents told me that I could invite uh, two other girls to go with me back to Tupelo the next day so we could see Elvis. So, uh, That's pretty good parents, Betty. Yes, it was. It was very unusual, but very really yes. good. And I don't know why they decided to do that. Uh, but anyway, so uh, there was really supposed to be another girl that went, and she wasn't able to go. So anyway, it was the three of us. And we got there early. And when we uh, went to the area where the concert was going to be, uh, we were able to walk in and uh, get on the first, the front row, and sit in these old brown folding chairs of the, that day. And um, so we were all excited to be on the front row. Well, the uh, the um, press press came along. Newspaper guys and that kind of stuff. Uh, came by and they said we would have to move it, and uh, that because the press had to sit there on that front row. So we just got up and we went to the back, back seat, the second, second row. row. And so we were doing pretty well. Okay, uh, June Carr Cash was the first uh, singer to come out and do her thing. And as she was singing, people would say, we want Elvis, we want Elvis. And she says, I want Elvis too. <laughs> and so anyway, when she finally finished her little uh, singing, uh, episode. Um, she left the stage, and guess who came out? Elvis came out. And um, everybody ran down to the front, and we could not see. So we had to stand up in those rickety brown folding chairs the whole program. But it was just so wonderful to be there and to be able to take part in being with Elvis. It was very, very exciting. That is incredible history. So in that photo that I just showed, you're standing on your chair. Right. So you can get above everybody's heads. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and let's talk about the uh, the press. They were saying, oh, we're front row. <laughs> Evidently, they didn't know who Elvis was because suddenly they were not front row anymore when everybody came and stood between them and the stage. Yeah, that's right. Because <laughs> you're a little ways back there mm -hmm. and you were second row. So yes, the thing yes. to keep in mind, friends, is she's mm -hmm. on the uh, technically on the second row. So mm -hmm. the reporters were here, and of mm -hmm. course, you see all the people there in the uh, in the gap, if you will, between. They just overtook it, mm -hmm. and those press people, I'm sure, they were like, "What in the world is going on?" Mm -hmm. So, what was it like? What was the atmosphere like? Oh, it was very exciting. Uh, he did an excellent job. We everybody loved it. They wouldn't have been running down if if they hadn't if it hadn't he did perfect. It was just very very exciting to be there. Did you scream? Of course. <laughs> like like Ginger said, I I stood there and, and I said I have never I've never screamed before, and everybody was screaming, and so I said I'm going to scream too. So I started screaming. So you joined in. I joined in. I and mean, you still screaming today? Yes. Right. I see you're still Elvis. a big Elvis fan. Yes, I am. I've always been an Elvis fan. So how did he look? You were really, really close to Elvis. I mean, mm -hmm. you physically were within 15 or 20 feet of him. Mm -hmm. What did he look like? Well, he looked very good. 
<laughs> he looked just like Elvis, and he looked very nice. What color was the shirt? I believe it was uh, a dark navy velvet mm -hmm. shirt. That his, I believe his mother had made it. No, it was uh, actually Natalie, uh, Wood. Natalie Wood had oh, made it. Oh, okay, I remember that she now. She had the blue and the red. The red was at yeah. night, the blue was during the day. Yeah, I remember that now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, uh, that, but there's always been rumors that she made it for him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've heard that, that too. Yes, that's right. Oh. Um, so you went there with friends, and, uh, mm -hmm. and I'm going to point out, this mm -hmm. right here is you. This is a friend right here, and this is you and her. Now, she has sadly since passed away. Mm -hmm. Who is this lady? Uh, she, her name was Betty Harbor. Another Betty. Betty Harbor. A Harbor. Uh -huh. Okay, she like lived a it? Harbor at the, at the, the Harbor. Mm -hmm. okay. H-A-R-B-E-R. And that's her right here. Uh -huh. So, and this lady right here is you and her, and she is right there. So y'all have all kind of stayed in touch. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of you girls that were all there at that mm -hmm. time have stayed in touch. Do y'all talk about Elvis? No, not really. Um, there's a number of people in that picture that I know. Yeah, sure. Um, people from Boonville. Boonville, yes. Um, let me, I can't see it Just very well if you don't mind. Okay. Get around here where I can see Patsy, her. I'm going to say that's Patsy. I can't remember her last name now. That was Gene Carr. He was in my class. This is Larry Cunningham. And um, he took music lessons the same place I did. Uh, there's J.L. Bonds. Um, I'm not sure. I think that may have been him. Um of course, this is my friend. Um, the other Betty. Betty. Mm -hmm. And then this is the lady that you had your picture made with. Her name was uh, Barbara. Barbara. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. I, I think that's about all I can really pick out from this picture. But that's incredible. Yeah. You, that's friends from your uh, childhood, you mm -hmm. know, from your time right. as a teenager and mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. That would be incredible for me to be able to look at a photograph of people I went to high school with and see them at this concert mm -hmm. would be pretty cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know that has to be somewhat surreal. Because that's been a, that's a long, long time, time ago. Yeah. yeah. And some of those people have passed away yeah. now. And, uh, well, you've raised your kids right. You raised them on Elvis. Yes, I did. Okay. <laughs> so, I sure did. And so we're going to go to your daughter, Ginger. Ginger is the one that reached out to me and mm -hmm. said, hey, my mom is in this photograph, mm -hmm. and um, would you like to talk to her? And I'm like, you know what? I would like to talk to her. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go to Ginger. I'm going to try to get both of y'all. And will you get a shot on uh, Ginger uh, for me, yes. Trey? Mm -hmm. So, Ginger, you got to go to an Elvis concert. Tell us about that. Uh, well, it was in on July the 5th, 1976, but Mother and my pop, they are the ones that got the tickets. We were, I was 16, and she took me and my sister and my brother, and I had a little younger brother that had to stay with the babysitter. He's mad to this day that he didn't get to see Elvis. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> but anyway, she said that um, they didn't have a ticket, and then she read in the paper where they had um, opened up some more seats. Well, Mom got us some tickets. They happened to be behind the stage. We watched, uh, we got to see Elvis. Tell him uh, where it so was. So you were up behind his head where the clock is yeah. in the pictures. Tell him, tell him where it was. It was in the Mid-South Mid Coliseum in Memphis. Yes. And uh, it was, uh, he, he turned around and sang straight yeah. to us, and you felt like you were the only one in the room. It <laughs> yeah. was just so neat. And uh, anyway, and this is one of my um So you souvenirs. got that as a souvenir that night. souvenir. And I got this little booklet right here. So I treasure all that, and um, thank and so you got that in 1976, Six, and yeah. you still have it. I still have it. That is incredible. Yeah, uh, at work they call me the crazy Elvis fan, and uh, <laughs> a lot of people give me stuff from Elvis, which is pretty neat. That is you know? neat. But I uh, was a senior in high school when he passed, and uh, now tell us about that. You were yeah. not in. You were not at home when you found right, out. Right, right. We were he, on vacation. The day he passed, we were at Opryland. So we were at Opryland all day, and we didn't hear a thing about Elvis passing. So we got back to the mo probably a motel room, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. A little bitty room, and there was a mom and a dad and two little brothers and, and me. And we heard on the TV 
probably black and white, I don't know. Oh, sure. <laughs> but anyway, um, that he had passed, and I was just crushed, because growing up, I guess I thought he was my, I was going to marry him. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but um, anyway, my mom was in the bathroom, and I kept crying and crying and crying, and my pop said, you're just going to have to stop crying, <laughs> because I would not, my heart was broken. Did you say that to her, Jean? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's how... Um, how much he he meant to uh, everyone. He he's touched so many. It's people. like a part of your family. Yeah. Yeah. And we would li we would listen to Elvis music, you know, all our lives. I mean, growing up, Christmas time, they put. Mom still has a lot of albums. Still has the record player that you play them on. And anyway, I did it when he passed away. I, I did a little uh, uh, memories page of him and a, a teacher that had passed. And this is a flower that I got. When we got back to, to, to after our vacation, we on uh, Sunday we were able to go to where he was buried, and I have, still have the little flower. So you went to the mausoleum. Now the Sunday would have been uh, he was buried on Thursday, okay. so that would have been the 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st. Mm -hmm. You were there, mm -hmm. and you got some of the flowers. So how many flowers were still out there at that time? Because I know good fans many. were taking them. A lot. Yeah, they were good meaning. I took a few pictures that day yeah. right here. Uh, She's got pictures. Okay. So there were still people. Sh wow, look at the crowds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There were still people showing up. And, and um, that's all. That's we're incredible. Little, there's a picture. And is this in front of the house that day? Yes. So we, people we were, were still by. standing out in front of Graceland mm -hmm. that day. By, but and this was Sunday. This was way after. Not quite a week later, but five days later. Yeah. Wow. I have a picture. A lot of, of bell bottoms. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we, then you went to Gladys's grave while you were there. Yeah. There's a picture of me and my sister in front of her, but I couldn't find it today. And that's why Gladys was still there, but she was supposed to be moved shortly after this. You know, this, the the story is that she got moved mm -hmm. to the mausoleum with Elvis, and then once mm -hmm. they moved him to the house, they moved both of them. Yeah. But that's, you know, I don't know about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I've got this scar That's what they say happened. I get all the uh, signatures from people when I go to Elvis Week, me and mother... We always love to go to Elvis Week, and we mm -hmm. go to the Tupelo Elvis Festival. We've enjoyed that, and uh, it's around their anniversary, so they really get a, a... And we've met so many friends. We've met people from Tupelo. We've met people from uh, uh, New Orleans, and I, I did the vigil a few years ago and met two ladies from Australia, so we stay con connected. We met a lady at the uh, statue in Tupelo, uh, from Germany, and Mother sends mm -hmm. her stuff in the mail mm -hmm. to Germany. We stay connected mm -hmm. to her. It's just kind of mm -hmm. neat how Elvis brings people together. Yeah, he really does. I, I mentioned last night in the video that I've got a lot of really good friends because of Elvis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. And you, um, something that, that is interesting is you, y'all live in Tupelo, and I really missed this no. year. We live I had it. We live no. in Memphis. Y'all live in Memphis live now? In Memphis. That's right. You know what? Yeah. I'm crazy. That's okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I forgot that. Mm -hmm. And because uh, you do have a Memphis phone number. Yeah. Uh, but what I was going to say is that the the I missed out on the Tupelo. I really was looking forward to the Tupelo oh, thing yeah, this year. Weird. in June. We are really weird. Yeah. I had it in my mind. Mm -hmm. I can't wait because last year was the first year I went, and it was mm -hmm. really it so good. really We've been fun. Going for about six years yeah. or so. And, and um, was it? It's just so neat, the small town and the people. You, you meet so many Elvis fans and mm -hmm. stay connected. And it's been a lot it was of really great. And they have a little, don't they have a little parade? Yeah. And, uh, Mom was, was it, in a parade yeah, it, on their 20th anniversary. Was it last year? Two that, years ago. Um, okay, I, I was a cheerleader when yeah, I was yes. growing up. Yeah. And I wore my cheerleader outfit. In the parade. Wow, the parade. that's really cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Saddle Oxfords and... The whole nine yards, huh? Uh -huh. Back like back in the day. So you mentioned uh, something, Betty, um, that how proud you were of Elvis because you were from Boonville, which is very close. Mm -hmm. And how? Wh tell me about that feeling of pride. For this is somebody that made good. They became very famous mm -hmm. from the area that you grew up in. I mean, right. thirty miles away is really close. So mm -hmm. tell tell us about that. Well. Um when I graduated from high school it was in '56, and he was just coming out. He had made, I think, done a couple of songs, and then um, uh, I, my fa my uh, parents sent me off somewhere for the summer, and uh, it was I went to North North Carolina, and Elvis was just coming out. 
He had started right there at the end of the school year, but then when I went to North Carolina, he was on everything. On national TV at that time. Well, I don't know if it's TV. It was that radio. Yeah. And uh, it, we just, I just fell in love with him and loved him, and especially because he was from Tupelo. Mm -hmm. You know, it was like he was ours. <laughs> exactly. I yeah. came to Memphis in 57. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We gave them a, a night at the guest house for their 50th wedding anniversary, too. Oh, cool. So they went on the tour, because I don't think my dad had ever been to the house, and we, we kind of made him go. <laughs> That's it. So Gene is a fan, just not as big a fan. <laughs> As they are. Yeah, I'm a fan. Yeah. I'm a fan. So, Gene, uh, you mentioned that you worked on a car, and you think it may have been Elvis. It had to be because I, I worked for Art Bickerstaff, who was uh, Elvis's first cousin, Lola Smith. Wife. They, yeah, it's his wife. And they, Art had a little automotive shop, a service station automotive shop. And I had worked there. This is probably in the mid 50s, 50. Five or something like that, 56. Anyway, they brought the car over. At the time, I did not know it was Elvis. I wasn't that, I wouldn't like the, the girls <laughs> fight for Elvis. It was just somebody came over there. But but I knew that he was kin to Hart's wife. Anyway, they car, brought the car over there, and I, I believe it was like a generator or alternator or something that had to be repaired. And while I was working on the car, Elvis was just stood there on the side of the fender, just leaned over the fender, talking to me the whole time. We were just just buddies back and forth, you know. But I didn't know for sure if that was Elvis or from Billy. And the nurse out here told me it had to be Elvis because uh, Billy would not have been old enough. Right, That's he what she been, said. He'd been very young. But I do know that he had the hair. It was combed back. It was cold black. It was slick back. It was ready to go. <laughs> we left there when, when we got through this car. There's a little restaurant right around the corner. This is in Rugby, which is in Fraser. It's called the Wagon Wheel. It's one of the pretty nice little restaurants there. And so myself, our big staff, and Elvis went around the corner to this little store, I mean this restaurant, and I'll sit down and have lunch, you know, just like it was. I never gave it any thought at the time. But since then, since he got so famous, I always wondered it had to be Elvis. Yeah. That's very cool. Mm -hmm. So, was there jealousy from the boys oh, at no. that time? No. You talking about my boys? No, I'm talking about any boys around. Oh. You know, you saw the, the you pointed out people that you knew from high school. No, no, no. Uh, they were happy for Elvis. I, too. Yes, I think so. I think yeah. so. Everybody was, because he was one of ours. When I got married the second time. I, I've always decorated cakes for 25 years. Mm -hmm. Well, guess I didn't realize how bad of an Elvis fan I was. I made my cake, but I got Elvis and Priscilla's cake out, and I made it look like theirs, kind of. Yeah. And uh, anyway, I had a, you know, Elvis. And, uh, so this is you at your wedding. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's just, I just, it's kind of funny when you look back. I, <laughs> that I is got very it cool. That was at our house. Yeah. yeah. She got married out in the yard. Yeah. yeah. This guy's retired now, but he was really good. That's really awesome. Yeah, you wanted Elvis. Yeah. I mean. Well, guys and gals, thank y'all so much for this. Uh, this was great, Ginger. Thank, thank you. you. Thank Betty, you. thank you. Gene, thank you. Mm -hmm. That lady right there, friends, I'm trying to flip this up. That's her right there. <laughs> That's her. She was there. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Remember her name? Oh, I'll find her. She's on my Facebook. You gonna write Birdman and Alcatraz? Yeah, no, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I am gonna say, what I'm gonna say, I'm trying to think. Um, here we go. Say, don't double dribble. Okay. <laughs> I loved watching you, that little boy, this morning. It was great. Yesterday, wasn't it? yeah, that was really great. Yeah, I had to do that. That was so cool. If you want to support this effort, make sure that you subscribe, like, and then join. That helps us to get more videos out there. Yes, it does.